Hello Internet, it's me, Hula, with another D-Geek Diary for you, and today feels like a very good day to change the world, doesn't it? Because I've got a little channel here called Fanatical, and I call it Fanatical because I believe everyone is a fan of something, and when you get lots of fans of something together, something amazing happens, especially here on YouTube where you get all sorts of like personal connections with people and, and projects that sort of sprout up and collaborations, and it's just, it's an amazing place for that kind of stuff, but I thought there's this little voice, my conscience in the background saying like, why aren't you making this planet a better place to live? And so I thought, why not start something called Fanatic Cares? So that's what I want to do today. And I want to basically use Fanatic Cares to talk about any sort of philanthropic or charity or even just like personal mission that people are doing that are changing the world for the better. For this inaugural Fanatical episode, I would like to talk about the X Prize Foundation. And this is an amazing idea that um, my friend John Raymonds has introduced me to. He is, uh, he's a great sort of entrepreneurial type and he's involved in all sorts of different things. Always, he's always into some neat stuff. They have an amazing history of innovation that they've done a lot of space related stuff, which I'm not gonna go into now because frankly, if I go down that rabbit hole, I'll be there for like a week. I wanna talk about the newest thing they've got. It's called the Global Learning X Prize. So let me step back and tell you a little bit about who these guys are. It's a fellow by the name of Peter Diamandis. I may or may not be saying his name right. He's the chairman and CEO, seems to be the guy sort of in charge. He's put together this amazing group of entrepreneurs and uh, sort of business types from aerospace to, to film directors. I mean, James Cameron is, is, is on their board as well. So a lot of interesting people, some pretty heavy hitters in there. And they believe that competition brings about change. And this is interesting because I was just talking about this the other day when I said that Russia had claimed that they are about to start surveying the moon to create moon bases and stuff. And I said, oh, maybe this will start another space race and countries will start to sort of, pick up the ball and try to, try to get ahead of them the way they did back in the Sputnik days and, and JFK getting the first man on the moon. Instead of killing each other, why not just give them big cash prizes and that'll bring out the competitive nature in people and make these things happen. And change like this can happen anywhere. Like it could be a massive corporation like everyone expects or it could be like a bunch of high school kids who don't know any better and, and end up changing the world with an idea that they've got. Um, and that's what this X Prize is all about. It's open to anybody. It's a completely level playing field that way. Um, and their newest one is they, they've said, look, there's 250 million children in the world who can't read or write. I'm going to say it again. 250 million children. No reading, no writing, and no hope because of that. How are they ever going to better themselves without those basic skills? And how shameful is it that us... People who can read and write and have access to all this amazing technology haven't fixed that problem yet. I didn't know there were that many kids. They were saying that in order to try to teach the, peop the amount of number of kids that there are out there, they would need like another one and a half million teachers trained and schools and stuff, infrastructure that is impossible to build. So the X Prize is saying, we want, the hardware is failing us, we want a software solution to this. How do we get kids in the middle of nowhere reading and writing who have no other way of learning it? It's got to be something they can do themselves under their own steam um, with the help of technology. There's a beautiful story in there called I Am Lion about this, um, this guy who was a part of this um, One Child, One Laptop program. And they found these two little villages in Africa, very sort of um, uh, uh, remote villages. They came in and they basically just handed laptops to, to the kids and then walked away. Like it's up to the kids to figure out how to use these things. And uh, there was one kid in particular that they were, wanted to give this laptop to, but he wouldn't engage. He wouldn't make eye contact. He was hiding behind his mom the whole time. There was really no contact. And they're thinking like, well, maybe he, we shouldn't give him this laptop. And then they eventually decided to give it to him. They all sit there trying to figure out how to turn these things on. And again, these, uh, the people who are involved in this, they sit back. It's like it's up to the kids. They have to be able to do this without outside intervention. That's the most important part of it. And this kid figures out how to turn the laptop on first. He's the first one to do it. He leaps up and says, I am a lion to his friends, like in his language. And all of a sudden, everything changed for him. The kids came to him to show him how, so he could show them how he'd turn this laptop on. And he was ahead of the curve all the time. He was so inspired by this little victory that he, um, he his, his position in the village changed. He became a leader in the village in this way with, amongst these kids. And, you know, teaching themselves how to read and write with these, with technology, these cheap little laptops that we would take for granted that, that would change these kids' lives. What the X Prize Global Learning, well, the Global Learning X Prize is about is coming up with the software to allow every child from any creed, color, religion, place on the planet, any child should be able to read and write. And they should be able to teach themselves to do it. So 
Um, that's what this XPRIZE is about. So I, please go check it out. It's really, really exciting. And the other stuff they've been doing as well is, is really neat. Um, the guy who runs the organization, this, this Peter Diamandis fellow, is, is like a, this, this incredibly overachieving fellow by the sound of it. He's, he's, he's got um, degrees in molecular genetics and aerospace engineering. He's also a medical doctor. He's the kind of guy who I would hate at a party, I'm sure. Uh, but he's doing this fabulous thing with this XPRIZE Foundation. He has a great quote, which is very inspiring, which says, the best way to predict the future is to create it yourself. And, and certainly, um, fanatics like us can do that. So I want you to comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you think about this XPRIZE project. Let me know what your ideas are about the X project. Let me know how you're going to help the XPRIZE project, because I'm very curious to know. And um, I shall say, subscribe, please. And uh, until we geek again, cheerio.